Well, this is another question on uh, VAT, the value added tax. And this question has been uh, adopted from CPA, public finance and taxation, question of December 2022. That is question 2B. The question reads as follows. The following are the transactions of Starlight Traders for the month of August 2022. The business is registered for VAT. But the first information is on sales, and you told that sales are sales to registered customers and sales to unregistered customers. So sales to unregistered customers and then sales to registered customers. All sales are vertible, whether they are to registered customers or to unregistered customers. It does not matter whether the buyer is registered for VAT or not. As long as the seller is registered for VAT, all sales they make, whether they are sold to registered customers or unregistered customers, they are vertible. Then under expenditure, we have purchases. Purchases to regist from registered suppliers and purchases from unregistered suppliers. Purchases from registered suppliers are vertible or include VAT and purchases from unregistered suppliers do not attract VAT because the unregistered suppliers cannot charge VAT. Depreciation is an expense but not vertible. Electricity is an expense which attract VAT. Printing and stationery, an expense which attract VAT. Motor vehicle parking is an expense but do not attract VAT. So uh, this is also not vertible. And water bill does not attract VAT. Supply of piped water is not vertible. Legal fees is vertible. Motor vehicle fuel, vertible. Repairs and maintenance, vertible. Computer software, vertible. Salaries and wages is not vertible. In the additional information, um, we are told that the reported sales to unregistered customers include goods sold to a customer in South Sudan. Goods sold to a customer in South Sudan is vertible but zero rated. So sales to South Sudan, um, that is an export and therefore zero rated. Number two, an invoice of 160,000 issued to Wema traders has been omitted from the records during the month. That is an omission. And an invoice issued means sales. Therefore, we are going to add that to sales. That is sales that took place and was not recorded. In number three, motor vehicle fuel, fuel and repairs maintenance related to van used to supply goods and services. So it means that that particular fuel is um, fuel which is vertebral. And in this case, it is used to supply goods and services. Therefore, it's included as expense of the business, which has been used to supply um, the vertebral sales. Water bill relates to sub water supplied by county government during the month. And as I've, I've said, supply of water by water authority, which is piped water, is not vertebral. And therefore, water bill will is exempt from taxation. Then we are told in number five that all the transactions are inclusive of VAT at a standard rate of 16% where applicable. The question requires that we determine value-added tax or prepare a value-added tax account for the month of October 2022 for um, starlight traders. I have done some analysis here where one, when you begin with the first one, that is sales, sales are always vertebral, even if they are made to unregistered customers. The requirement is that the supplier must be registered for VAT. Once a supplier is registered for VAT, whether they are selling to registered customers or unregistered customers, then such sales are still vertebral. 
Then I've also explained that cells that were made to South Sudan constitute exported goods and therefore zero rated, vertible at the rate of zero. That is um, the first item. In the second item, we are told that um, only purchases from VAT register suppliers are vertible. That is handling purchases. And when we talk about purchases here, we have been told that there are some purchases which were from registered suppliers. These are vertible. But then there are some purchases which are from unregistered su suppliers. Unregistered suppliers cannot charge VAT, and therefore these purchases do not include VAT because the suppliers who sold them to the business are not registered for VAT. Depreciation is not vertible expense. I've indicated that before. Depreciation is not a vertible expense. It does not attract VAT. Electricity is a vertible expense. I've explained that already. But let us go back to the statements here. So we have understood that this depreciation here is not a vertible expense. In number four here, Motor vehicle parking charges are exempted from taxation. That is because the act or the VAT act says that parking services provided by local authority or by the employer is not vertible. Parking services provided by um, county government or national government or even provided by the employer are not vertible even if they are charged. And next, uh, we have the water bill. For the water bill, as I've explained, water bill is not vertible. The reason why water bill here is not vertible is because piped water provided by the national government or a water authority of the county is not vertible. Otherwise, bottled water or packed water, which has been packed in the bottles and so on, or other water containers may be vertible if uh, they fall in that category. About fuel for motor vehicle, fuel currently is vertible at the rate of 8%, even though now the government is proposing to change the, the VAT from 8% to the rate of 16%. So depending on whether that changes or not, for now we shall be using 8% for VAT on fuel. The question requires that we prepare a VAT account that will help us determine the VAT payable or refundable. Let us then prepare a VAT account. Right, so in the VAT account, we have one side where we have the input VAT. And we also have output VAT. This is the VAT account. Right, uh, we start with the first um, transaction, which is about sales. So all the sales, whether to uh, register customers, or unregistered customers, all of them will be are vertible and therefore will be included. And they are included on the side of um, output. They are included on the side of output as follows. Therefore, we proceed as follows. Begin with uh, unregistered sales. So when you talk about unregistered sales, these unregistered sales are a total of 2 million 337, so we have 2 million, 337, 480. But from here, we need to subtract additional information number one, where we are told that there's an invoice of 536,000, which was sold to South Sudan. That is an export. So we need to subtract that export and re uh, record it separately. So we are going to have 2 million, 
uh, we have two million three thirty seven four eighty minus five thirty six thousand. That will give us one million eight zero one four eighty multiplied by sixteen over one sixteen. And then we have export, which is part of that under GTA sales. And export will be equal to 536,000 by 0%. That is zero rated. So this is zero. And the first one is going to be multiplied by 16 over 116. Becomes 248. 480, 248, 480. Then we have sales which are registered, sales registered customers, and that is equal to 5,939,483. We have 5,939,483 times 16 over 116. That is equals to 5,939,483 times 16 divided by 116. That is equal to 819,239. 819,239. Let us now go to purchases. And in purchases, we have purchases to regist from registered suppliers, which is vertible, and purchases from unregistered suppliers, which is not vertible. Talking about those purchases, then we have purchases registered, registered purchases. is equal to 3,617,924 times 16 over 116. Now we're going to have 3,617,924 times 16 divided by 116. That is equal to 499,024. So we have passed depreciation. Electricity is vertible, so let us have electricity as input because it is an expense. So it is on the input side, which is 204, 450 times 16 or 116. That is equal to 28,200. Next is stationary, also vertebral. Stationary is equal to 240, 600, also vertebral. So multiply by 16 or 116. 240, 600 times 16, divide by 116. That is equal to 33,186. Next, parking charges is not vertible. Water bill not vertible. We go to legal fees, which is equal to legal fees is 133,400 times 16 over 116. Times 16 over 116. So we have 133,400 times 16. Divide by 116. 
that is 18,400. Followed by motor vehicle fuel, which is 167,400. Times 16 over 116. So we have 167,400. Times 16, this is divided by 116. That is 23,089. Repairs and maintenance, also vertible. Repairs and maintenance. So you can just say repairs instead of writing a very long name. So for the repairs and maintenance, we have a total of 105,850 times 16 over 116. So that is equal to 105,800, not 800, 850. 850 times 16 over 116. Right, the total amount for repairs and maintenance is equal to 105,850 times 16 over 116. That is equal to 14,600. The next item is computer software, which is also vertebral. Computer software equal to 49,532. Forty nine five thirty two times sixteen over one sixteen. That is equal to sixty eight thirty two. Six thousand eight hundred and thirty two. Let us now proceed to the additional information, where additional information number one about export sales has been included in the um, the schedule when you are talking about sales. Additional information number two is talking about an invoice which was issued at 160,000 and has not been included. That is an error and therefore we need to include it. Therefore, we are going to have invoice. It is included on the side of output because this invoice relates to sales. So we have 160,000 for the invoice multiplied by multiply that by 16 over 116. 22,068 is equal to 22,068. Now we need to determine the total of both sides so that we balance off the account and determine whether we have VAT payable or VAT refundable as follows. The output side has a greater total of 1 million 89,787. While the input side has a total of about 623,331. Therefore, we want to subtract that amount so that we get the tax payable. So this is the total of 1,089,787. Subtract the total for the total for the input side, which is 623,331. So that we get tax payable or VAT payable, which equals to 466, 456. So we have the total there and the VAT table. So that is how we solve this particular question.